Hello everyone, welcome back to Crafts by the Bow. This week I promised that I would use my Words of Cheer set and I, in my Facebook Live, I said that I would show you how to use some of the other dies. Last week we used the Happy die and this week I want to use the Cheer die. I'm not using any of the stamps in this card but I will use them on another card. I'm also using just some scraps from my Whimsy and Wonder paper. I've got lots of little pieces, sort of, you know, tiny pieces like this. So some of them would fit on the front of a card, but some just wouldn't. So I'm using a lot of my little pieces up as well. And to start with, what I did was I cut five pieces of the designer series paper and if you check on my blog, all the supplies and all the measurements will be there. But these are cut at um, one inch by three and three quarters. And I also cut myself, oh, not that piece, this piece, uh, just a piece of the basic white, the thinner cardstock. And that layer is cut at five by four, um, sorry, four by five and a quarter. And I've got a piece of mint macaron, just half a sheet of card, which is 11 inches by four and a quarter, scored at five and a half. And so this will be our base card. Let me just move those ones out of the way. It's only a very quick card, but it's one of those templates that you could use lots of times on different cards. Okay, so our white piece is going to go on the front like this and then our designer series paper is going to make our pattern on here. Now you can use pieces from different designer series series packs, um, different um, colours, whatever you want your card to be. If you want a birthday card and you know that you want really cheery colours, just look through your designer series paper scraps or even you could use little pieces of cardstock that you'd embossed. But I'm just going to attach these to my first layer here. I did also cut an extra one of these for the inside. With it being a green coloured card base, uh, I wanted to be able to see it just a little bit better inside, so I tend to put a little piece of white in. Okay. Now your first piece, I'm just looking to see which way around that goes. Your first piece, you make sure that you have a border all the way around that is even. Now can you see I've got like this little quarter of an inch spare on the card and I'm just making sure that the left and the right and the top have the same border. And then these other pieces, they are just going to fit and Oh, let me see. Yeah, let's put that one down. I'm going to butt them up together. Like this. And before I glue those down, I'm just going to check that this one has enough room, this bottom one. And it has. It's got that same um, border, top and bottom then. So I'm going to put them in the order that I just put them then. I, I didn't know which order they were going to go in. But... That just seemed perfect. Okay, so just butt them up to each other. If you find that you've got a little ridge and they've stuck over each other, just get your bone folder and push them down a bit. And while this glue is wet, it will move just that little bit for you. So now I can feel that that's perfectly flat. And I do sometimes like to have cards that are fast, that you're not stamping. I love stamping, but sometimes it's just nice to have one where you're not stamping a lot of things and that it's quite quick to replicate if you want to do batch cards. So if you know, you know, I want to make six of these or I want to make ten of these, it's easy then just to cut all your paper down and... Uh, you know, it's, it's a fast one to make. You can do all your cutting and then all your fronts, all your die cuts, and, and sort of have a little production line. There we go. 
And can you see now, you've got that same border all the way around. And this is just going to be attached to the front here. But before I do that, I'm going to do my embellishment. I'm not sure if I want to put a ribbon round as well. And actually, you could make the card landscape with the same pieces. Just make sure your designer series paper is going the right way if you want to do a landscape one. But for the dies that I'm using, it would be too long to do landscape. So I have to do it portrait. And this is the cheer die. I have already run it through my um, cut and emboss machine. Oops, I don't want that end. And I've used Mossy Meadow because that's, that's a color that's in a lot of these pieces of paper. Uh, you can use your die brush attachment for this or just it comes out quite easily with the little pokey pin. And sometimes I find that if these are starting to stick a little bit because you've been using them a lot, if you run it through with a piece of wax paper, not parchment paper, but that one with the waxy coating, um, it just sort of almost lubricates the, the little die a, a tiny bit and makes it easier to pop out. Now this is the second die and it says cheer and each letter comes out individually. You can do this with a little piece of um, the adhesive paper so that it's, it makes it like a sticker because it's adhesive on both sides. But because it's only you know a small little bit, I've actually just cut mine out and I'm going to attach it with glue. And I'm going to pop them right over the cheer pieces. And maybe I wish I'd done it as a sticker. I'm not sure. It's the first time I've actually used this die. It fits dead in the middle. So, oops, I'm going to hold it for a second. And this is just our silver foil card. And you only needed a teeny weeny bit. I actually had a little scrap from something else, look. And it isn't even a straight piece of card, but it, it was just perfect for this. You really don't need much. Okay, just put this, oops. Yeah, I think I should have done it as a sticker. It would have been all done by now. <laughs> Never mind. I know for next time. If I want to save time, I'll do it like that. I'm trying to not put too much glue on. But it's still peeping out. But it dries clear, so this glue's great for that. It doesn't matter if you've got a bit too much. If you do find it's a little bit sticky um, and you've had, you know, like a little glue leakage, whoops, then you can just go over it with a glue eraser rubber and that would take it off. I found what this glue is really good for as well is if you want to make something like a post-it note because it doesn't if, if you don't stick two pieces of card or paper together with it, if you just put it on something like this and then leave it, it just goes tacky. So you can then use it as um, maybe a little removable piece of paper for a mask or um, you know, just like a little post-it note kind of thing. Okay, I don't know if I'm gluing that on yet. Let's just get rid of that glue there and the glue on my fingers. So this piece, I know that I'm not going to put it right down the front. I know I want it on the left-hand side here. So I didn't, I didn't really know if I wanted a ribbon around it or not. And this is actually the soft succulent open weave ribbon. But it, I thought it was such a good match and I didn't have any mint macaron. So, so let's just have a quick peek and see. I might only tie it in a knot but because I've got that pale green piece in the middle, that might be too pale. Mm, yeah, I think because I put that piece in, it's not quite what I wanted. I do also have the silver twine from the Simply Elegant print. That might be better. Let's have a look. I might only need one piece going round. Oops. Might just be difficult to attach this, I don't know. 
something, I would have to put dimensionals on it. Yeah, I'm not going to put it on. I'm going to leave it like this. And I'm going to attach this to my paper. And if you wanted to put like the thin foam um, strips that we've got to make it stand up, you could. But I'm actually going to make this piece stand up instead. So I'm just going to glue this one flat down. Doesn't need very much glue at all. I'll just make sure I've got my card straight and that it's sort of in a straight line and level. So I've got the same gap at the top and the bottom. And then I'm going to pop this onto my base card with dimensionals. And that will make it you know, just stand off the page a little bit. I love these dimensionals. But I, I, use a, I use a lot of them. But to be fair, you do get 300 in a pack. So, you know, they're not, they're not too expensive. Just make sure it's centered. There we go. And then I'm going to put some of my little basic rhinestones on. I'm going to put the small ones. I'm opening a new pack because I've only got big ones left in my other pack. So I'm just going to put these teeny weeny ones on. And you see how they're like graduated sizes. I just want to use these and I don't want to put too many on but I just want to put a few on sort of these little um, like sprigs. And I'm not even going to put them on all of them. think it'll make it look really pretty. So I might just put I might just put them on these kind of sprigs and put three three on at a time. Let's see where the others are. So we've got one, two, three, four. Oh there's only four, so let's put them on all of those. And this way I probably didn't even need ribbon. Oh, there was five, look. I miscounted there. That's okay. Let's see. See what we think after we've done the four. Ooh. Ran away. And I'm not making it the same pattern on each of the set of uh, leaves. Last few. You could even colour these if you wanted to pick out one of the colours on your design series paper. You can colour them with blends or markers. Oops. You just literally just colour over the top of them with your pen. Okay. Now I feel like I do want a little something there. So let's have a look at what just a small ribbon down here would be. Um, I think I might do it in the silver, just to pick out the silver on the letters and everything. And I'm going to get my little bow tie. Let's pop that, pop that one out of the way. And I think I'll do a double one. So let's cut this twine. So I've just got two pieces. Start again. Twisty twine, this slippery. And if you don't have a little bow tie, you can do this round the tines of a fork. I used to do mine round a fork until I bought this little thing. And I'm just going to pinch that through with my fingers just to stop those tails flying up too much. And let's have a glue dot. These glue dots might be a bit big for my twine because it's only small. So I've just folded it in half. Stick it on the back there. And I'm going to put this up here. And then 
then I'm just going to cut those tails down a little bit. And my scissors again. I don't mind if they're going to jump off the card, but if you do and you want them to be adhered down, just put another little glue dot underneath. Oops, there we go. That one's a little bit longer, look. There we are. So here's my card using the cheer dies. Uh, I think they're really quite pretty and I love these little um, basic rhinestones on there. So it just glitters. And on the inside, I'll just put my little white piece. I think that one's a bit smaller than I need. Let's get another one, a little white piece. And I've still got some of the little pieces of designer series paper. I'll probably just put one across the bottom. And that way it matches the front. And on my envelope, I'll choose one of these papers and put it on the back of the envelope just so that you know the envelope matches as well. So there we are, that's my quick little project using the cheer dies. So thanks so much for watching everybody. Next time I'll try and use the stamps and we'll use this piece. See you all again really soon. Thanks everybody, bye bye.